So I'm here with Dan Hegarty and I just want to ask him how he thinks the way in which we buy music is changing in Ireland and in the world in particular. Um, I suppose the biggest change in the last number of years is people have been buying online digitally and, and I guess not buying online, <laughs> just downloading illegally. So that, that would be the biggest difference because like traditionally it's always been, oh, I'll go to the record shop, I'll buy the album, single, whatever it is. But that's that's changed in a big way uh, over the last number of years. So you used to work in a record shop, isn't that right? Was the atmosphere cool in that kind of environment? Yeah, it was a while ago, so <laughs> yeah. it was it was different. This is it, there was it wasn't digital downloading at the time. So yeah, it was really good fun. I really enjoyed it. I worked in one for, I guess, nearly three years. I, I loved it. I really did. So um, you can really empathise then with the people who've kind of been let go now with HMV. How do you feel for them? I feel feel really bad for anyone that loses their job. It's just a really tough one, particularly in January as well. And how do you discover bands? I still listen to the, ra the other radio shows. Um, I get a lot of stuff sent to me. I still read, I still read magazines, I read blogs, uh, all just lots of different ways. I've come to the Rage record store on Faith Street in Dublin to find out if vinyl really has lasted the test of time and get some other opinions on this topic. So with the likes of HMV and stuff going under, how do you guys stay afloat? Well, we're kind of more of a niche market. I mean, we don't necessarily follow pop charts, whatever. It's what mm -hmm. we're interested in. And I think yeah. that's what a lot of people are interested in. Like, it's not so much new trends. It's almost stuff that's been around so long. Yeah. Like, anything we find interesting, we stock. It's the yeah. same with the music. Like, pretty much everything here, there'll be someone who works here likes it, you know? Yeah. So how do you think it's going to continue to change in the way that people buy music? Do you see a future for these kind of record stores? Yeah, well, I think vinyl's actually making kind of a comeback at the moment. Like, there's a lot of people interested in it. And I think it's not something that's going to die out. Because it's, I mean, it's stood the test of time so far. Like, it's, like, cassettes came out and, like, people thought that that would kill it and CDs came out. But now they're both dying out, but vinyl's staying strong. And the yeah. same with maybe trees. You know? So vinyl's the winner all the way? I think so. <laughs> You sell far more records than you would CDs here. Oh, definitely. The only CDs we now stock is like independent artists, which is like they bring them to us. So just like local bands or like singer songwriters who want to get their music out there, yeah. we'll stock them for them. Like, obviously, we like stocking their vinyl, but it's so expensive to put out like a small run of vinyl mm. that like you have to keep their CDs, you know. Yeah.